Welcome or welcome back to the City and Channel. You're all staying safe and well. And we look forward or continue our look forward to the Champions League semi-final with the odds show. So we're going to have a look at Real Madrid versus Manchester City. See if there's any value out there for you to, to have a go at. And of course, uh, have a go at the old charity bets. Get some more in the pot. Another, another great result, of course. In our last game against Leeds, we had both uh, both teams to score no. Well, that worked out. And under 10.5 corners, and there was nine in the game. So that worked out. So again, once again, for the second time running, both bets won. Got three bets today. I've actually split one of the halves of the bets as well. So uh, let's let's hope we'll can add more to the par uh, parity pot. Charity, <laughs> charity pot for our nominated charity, of course, the Christie. Uh, today that'll be absolutely brilliant please there'll always be a city leading of course in in these uh, city odds well is anything of it there's plenty of value on Real Madrid as well if you obviously if you think Real Madrid will do okay in this uh, you can get some good prices actually on Real Madrid and, it's, and City are still firm favourites to make it through this one so uh, that will be interesting please I don't can go on gambling and when the fun stops stop and always be gamble aware we have to have to say that say so never never ever chase your losses or anything like that guys as I'm just betting for charity at the moment I'm not really doing much of my own at, at this point in time right let's bet, check out some value all these prices are at the 2nd of May 2022 uh, to win the Champions League <coughs> excuse me yeah, uh, Liverpool's are the favourites now. If you've watched my preview show, we have a, a brief little go at the odds. Just to say what the odds are. They're still the favourites. So ten to eleven, you can get even somewhere. City are five to four. That's based really on the fact that uh, that sort they went into favouritism uh, before. You know when the draw was made for the semi-finals. Once you got Villarreal, of course, they became favourites. So uh, City have been favourites for most most of the Champions League campaign this season. Set your five to four. Real Madrid are ten to one. Yeah, so if you're a Real Madrid fan, that's worth a go. And Villarreal fans, if you've not given up hope, they're, they're eighty to one at the moment to win the Champions League. Uh, the match itself, yes, City are odds against just, which is very rare for City to be odds against. Twenty one to twenty. A draw is three to one. And again, uh, if you fancy Real Madrid over two to one, you get eleven to five uh, generally on Real Madrid. If you fancy them to win it as well, so some interest if, if you are a Real Madrid fan uh, to qualify. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so obviously on the night, uh, as far as City sort of getting through, or perhaps perhaps to lose uh, by the odd goal, and win on penalties or whatever, or, or obviously draw the game and still go through. City to qualify is one to five on, so that's quite short. And Real Madrid a ten to three. So again. You know, this thing gets to penalties. If they win by one goal, Real, it gets to penalties. That, that's another good price. So, let's say all the value is with Real Madrid. We try not to go on the opponents. So occasionally, I do. Obviously, if there's something of value. But, uh, yeah, that, that's what's happening with this one. My third, my 11, my guys playing. Please watch my preview show if you want my reasoning behind this. Edison, Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte, Aki. Rodri, KDB, Bernardo, Foden, Jesus, and Mares. That's my starting eleven. So that leads us on to the first first goal scorer. And the bookies are taking no chances on Mr. Benzema. He's a clear favourite as far as first goal scorer is concerned. He's nineteen to four, so almost five to one. But then you've got people like Mares at seven. City players, Mares at seven to one with Bet Victor. Jesus is fifteen to two generally. So is Foden and KDB seventeen to two generally. Uh, Rodri, you fancy Rodri? Another Rodri's rocket. He's making a habit of it. Could he? he could make three games in a row scoring a goal. Uh, Twenty-five to one. First goal scorer. Other other Madrid players. Jovic is seven to one with Sky. Mariano is seven to one generally, and Junior is fifteen to two generally as well. Any time goal scorer, this is what we usually have a look at. And I always try and get sort of two to one or more. I don't think it's worthwhile. So obviously people like Benzema are far too restricted. But as far as City players are concerned, you've got Jesus at 90, get nine to four with Sky. Again, another player who's scoring goals at the moment, so why not? KDB's 13 to 5. He can always pop up with one. If Gundogan isn't playing, KDB will be taking the penalty, so there's a, an option there. Foden is 11 to 4, and Bernardo is 4 to 1. Bernardo likes a European goal, doesn't he? And he's certainly, again, another one who's, who's hit goals recently. 
Both teams to score, yes, yeah, is very restrictive. I mean, I think most bookmakers, I think most pundits, most fans think uh, both teams are going to score in this one. They doubt there'll be a clean sheet. But if you did think there's going to be a clean sheet, you can get 15 to 8 with Bet Victor on both teams to score. No, but as I said, it's a little bit restrictive. It doesn't use, you know, occasionally I will bet 1 to 2 on, 4 to 9 on, stuff like that. But I'm not took a chance on this one. But both teams to score, yes, the best price you can actually get is 1 to 2 with Hills if you fancy that correct score a tight game another seven goal thriller perhaps who know could be interesting could be interesting but i think there'll be some goals so i've only done score score predictions here with a few goals in it a 2-1 city win i've got we've got 17 to 2 at hills a 3-1 city win is 14s a 3-2 city win is 20 with hills a 4-3 city win again is 80 with hills i mean the draw 1-1 one, one, like i'm not even not even looking at a 0-0 zero, zero. i'm not even looking at a nil nil draw a 1-1 one, one draw is 7 to 1 generally and a 2-2 two, two draw is 11 to 1 a Madrid win, 2-1 from Slight Cities, 11 to 1. All these are with Hills. A 3-1 is 25 to 1. A 3-2 is 25 to 1. And if you fancy a, a 4-3 turnaround for Real Madrid to win, you get 90 to 1 generally on that one. So, uh, you know, there you go. Again, again, the value all falls the way of the uh, Spanish team, doesn't it? Half time, full time. Yeah, this is a hard one to call, isn't it? I have no idea. I've thought long and hard about this, and so I'm just not convinced at all either way. City, City, you can get 5-2 to two with Sky, half-time, full-time. Madrid, Madrid, half-time, full-time, you get as high as 9-2 to two with Coral. Uh, score an early goal and City battle, but, you know, you never know, do you? A draw and then a City draw at half-time, City full-time. You can get uh, get 5-1 to one with bet, bet fair Sports. On a draw and a draw is 6-1, to one, generally. And a draw and Madrid to win is uh, 8-1. to one. With uh, Bet Fred at the moment, so please, all, all these prices do check them. There's a, there a second of May, so obviously there may be slight differences. But I, I think that half time, full time is something just to steer clear of. To be honest with you, goals over under. Of course, there's going to be goals in this. Surely, it's going to be goals. I mean, over two and a half is eight to fifteen. Not, not a price I would bulk at. Actually, I was sort of might tempted at that, but over three and a half, thirteen to ten. 1.3 to 1 odds against. Do we take a chance on that? Over 4.5, 16 to 5 with Betfair Sports. Do we take a chance on that? Well, I am going to take a chance because this is my first charity bet. I'm going to take a chance on over 3.5. And, and I got 27 to 20, so slightly better prices on that. So that's my first charity bet. Goals over 3.5. 27 to 20. Let's hope it's 4 0 for City. That'll do, won't it? Uh, winning margin. This is another one that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to have my uh, finish my bets on. I've gone Dutch on this one. I'm a little bit different to the norm. I've, I've Dutched, uh, so I'm going for two options on this. Probably, you know, obviously, I, you know, there's lots of options it not to be these two options, but a winning margin. I'm going for one goal winning margin for either team. So you know this is obviously ninety minutes, so it could go to could go to extra time and penalties, of course. So a city one goal winning margin, you can get sixteen to five. A two goal winning margin, you get eleven to two. A Madrid one goal winning margin, you get four to one. A Madrid two goal winning margin, you get nine to one. So I've gone Dutch. I've gone one goal for each. I've gone City to win, win by one goal. I've only I've only managed to get three to one. I couldn't get sixteen to five, but I got a three to one on that City to win by one. And Real to Real to win by one. I got seventeen to four, so I did better on that. So I did best, less, worse on City and better on Real, which is, well, I didn't want to do that, but that's how it is. So I've dutched it. I've just dutched it straightforward. So whatever happens, we win the same. We get the same amount of money back anyway. So I've just dutched those two. So the second and third charity bets, which is split really, it's a second bet split into two. City by a one goal winning margin at three to one, and Real by a one goal. Would you imagine at seventeen to four? So obviously two two over two and over. Would you imagine plus the draws we lose our money, guys? But hey, that's that's what this is all about, isn't it? We'll we'll take a chance, and that's what I've done. And before we go, yeah, just finally, uh, interesting one. Team to score first. Um, Again, good good value on Madrid. Uh, you can get five to four against. Uh, wouldn't surprise me, of course, if they do score. Hopefully, we, we can peg them back again. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that. So I think five to four is a good price, as as most things are with Real Madrid this time. I say for Real Madrid fans, if you, if you do a little bit of, of this sort of thing, it's very interesting. 
at City, 8 to 11 on. So, again, not overly restricted. That's not too bad, but obviously not enough for me to, to want to have an interest in that. But I just thought it was, I mentioned that before we go because it was quite interesting. So, there you go, guys. Fingers crossed for the charity bets. Please let me know what you're having a go on, what you've done, or what you've won on, and what you fancy, etc be great to hear from you uh, get some feedback on, on this uh, vlog that i do with the odd show so the two bets just a reminder over three and a half goals in the game so two two three one four three whatever at 27 to 20 and another two bets uh, so the second bet is split into two and dutched it so i've dutched it so whatever whatever if i win on either i get the same amount of money back city i want to win by one goal at three to one to one goal winning margin and Real with a one goal winning margin at 17 to 4. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you're doing, hopefully. Just give us your comments and uh, come on, let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Let's get to that Champions League final again. Hey, that's, all, that's all we ask. That's all we ask. But what a cracking game this this should be. Anyway, to meet again. Anyway, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.